Welcome to the Schoology tutorial. In this video, we'll talk about setting up the Teacher Access Center gradebook for syncing with Schoology. So I am here in Teacher Access Center and I'm going to set up my uh, gradebook here. And that's really the subject of this video. And I go to Gradebook, Setup. And uh, since I don't have any categories set up, I'm going to start there. Uh, let's uh, add some categories. I'm going to add homework. And I'm going to keep the weight one, and I'm not going to drop any of the homework assignments, the, the lowest. I want to talk a little bit about this uh, marking period area. Uh, just a caution that it, this is not very intuitive, but the proper way to set up a category when you're using it in both marking periods or all marking period, periods is to not check these. <laughs> it seems like you would, but when you do that, you actually create two of the same category. So uh, just to illustrate that for you, I'm going to check them. This is not how you would do it. I'm going to click on Save. And here, I now have two homeworks. That will not work well with the Schoology syncing. So the one that is the correct one is the one that says default. That would be the one that would be created when I don't check anything. So I'm going to do uh, go by the trash can on the one that's M1, M2. I don't want that. The default covers all the marking periods. OK, and now I'm going to add a second one. Go up here in the corner. And let's choose lab, since this is a physics class. And then I'm going to talk about this setting, and that is the exclude missing setting. Now, I understand the rationale for both ways of doing it. The proper way of setting it up for the Schoology sync is to leave it on exclude missing scores from the average. What that means is if there is an assignment in the gradebook and there's no score there, it does not count against the student unless you then enter in a grade like 50% or zero or whatever your um, procedure is. Many teachers are a fan of this setting. Missing scores will count as zero. The rationale? Well, if a student uh, doesn't hand in something, the whole semester goes by and then the marking period comes and it's not handed in, they want that assignment to count as zero and thus it would bring down the average. So if it's displayed as counting as zero, it's actually helping the child know that if they don't hand it in, when they look at their grades, that's what the grade's going to be. Uh, they don't want the student to have shock or be misled. And uh, I understand why you would want to use that. However, in the Schoology eSchool syncing world, that setting doesn't work. When they wrote the software to tie the two gradebooks together, that was not a thing. It actually will distort grades uh, in uh, eSchool if you use that setting. However, there is a way to mimic it. Because you sync from Schoology to eSchool, you can do this in the Schoology gradebook. So go to video three or when you get to that, play close, close attention to that piece so that you know how to mimic this setting that you like. But for the sake of making the gradebook accurate, you need to keep it on exclude missing or yeah, exclude missing scores from the average. Sorry about that. That's just the way you have to set it up in eSchool. But we'll show you how to do it in Schoology. Um, then I'm going to go up here and uh, I'm going to choose calculate average using total points. I highly recommend that if you use waiting, which is when it's not checked, and you're not really sure what that's doing, or you're not really sure how that's calculating a, a student's grade, I highly recommend you don't use that method. Um, because when it comes down to when you have to explain to a parent why a student got a certain grade, it may be difficult if you're not sure what's going on here. Um, uh, the solution is to, instead of using the waiting, just make certain assignments worth more. And you're kind of waiting when you do that. Uh, so example, uh, a test may be worth 100 points and quizzes might be worth 20 points. It's kind of waiting itself. I'm going to leave it on round and then I'm going to choose default scale as regular courses. If this is a related arts class or citizenship at the middle school level, I would be choosing that scale. 
but because it's a regular course, I'm choosing that. So that's how you set up your Teacher Access Center gradebook for Schoology Syncing.